feel like it's the last chance we have to really save this country. I mean, I, Hillary won the popular vote. The entire nonsense about the electors trying to use the Russian hacking issue to change the election results is really unfortunate. I think that actually undermines our democracy more than any other conversation that we're having. Thank you. You're surprised at all this challenge? People say, well, you know, they're getting death threats telling them not to vote for Donald Trump today. I have to say I am surprised because it shows such a disrespect for our constitutional process, for a, a process that has served us well for over 200 years. I thought to myself last night, we used to have a Republican Party and a Democratic Party. Now we have a Republican Party and a Banana Republic Party, wow. a party that has simply discarded any reverence yeah. for our system of government. It's, uh, I think this just comes down to people fundamentally not being able to accept the outcome of the election, right, Betsy? I mean, I think it's, there's, a, there's a segment of people that cannot understand that their fellow Americans voted for Donald Trump. They don't get it. They can't process it. And if the Democrats want to succeed as a party, they need to really stop these shenanigans and move on. And when I hear John McCain say, well, the Russians were tampering with the electoral process, no. They may have influenced public opinion by leaking this information. If but it's they the, leaked it. If they leaked it. But it's the Democrats who are t tampering with the electoral process right now. <laughs>